Fans think Shawn Mendes' mom confirmed a romantic relationship. Ooh, Jordan Wood speaks out and addresses Chloe. Mm, and Chloe gets a special birthday message from Tristan. Lord have mercy. All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What is up, you guys? Welcome to today's edition of the Daily Hollywood Rundown, aka DHR, aka Durr. Durr. I'm Susan Wire, guys. And oh, nope, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Choked on my spit. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode. Um, while you're here, you know, we really consider you a friend, even if this is your first time watching. So, what we like to say to our friends is if you're really friends, <laughs> subscribe. Because <laughs> um, we can't was be, weird. it was subscribe. weird. But Sorry, we can't be friends weird. unless you're actually subscribed. So, go ahead and click that subscribe button and then you'll get notified especially if you click that bell mm -hmm. every single time we post and we post every single day so you every don't want to miss a single thing and we do polls and fun things on our community page so you'll actually be able to interact I can't talk <laughs> interact and engage with us make sure you go there and yes. finally comment comments, <laughs> <laughs> comments likes um, all, all that sort of stuff you know we love it and we love you guys yes. and we're so grateful that you're here with us um, but like we've got a lot of news today because we actually do have news to talk about. Right, right. We should talk <laughs> about the news. All that, we should talk about the news. Uh, Demi Lovato is something that is um, pretty exciting. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so when it comes to Demi Lovato, she's been known to be friendly with her exes, even doing a live on Instagram recently with Wilma Valderrama. But now it's looking like it might be a thing of the past based on her recent actions on social media. So Demi has recently been spotted liking shady posts on social about Wilma and the Jonas Brothers and the internet is truly living for it. The posts range from fans calling out Demi's fake friends for not being there for her through her recovery, like this post which she liked that said, quote, Demi has every right to be mad. You can't tell me different. Over 10 years with these people and this is the treatment she gets back? Over six years sober and as soon as she slips up, they decide they don't want to deal with her anymore. You can't tell me she's supposed to let it go. Also, Wilma has been seen hanging out with the Jonas Brothers recently in France while Joe and Sophie are getting ready for their big France wedding, which we cannot wait cannot for. Cannot wait. Adding insult to the injury though by bringing his new girlfriend along. Demi doesn't seem to be too happy about it because she reportedly liked and then unliked this photo of them all hanging out and was captioned, Demi, stay away from these fake people. Not only that, Demi took it a step further and commented on some of the posts. So Paper Magazine posted on Twitter, suggesting that Joe Jonas was the only important actor in Camp Rock, tweeting, do you think Joe Jonas had to undergo physical therapy after the stress of carrying Camp Rock on his back? Ooh. In which a fan then responded, Demi says hi. And it looks like Demi wasn't pleased about it either as she clapped back writing, oh, word. And not only that, so Demi also took to her own Instagram stories and posted, You know what's great about making an album? You get to say anything you want. Be as open and honest as possible and tell your side of the story, regardless of who might not like it. Demi also commented on another fan account after they asked for a memoir from Demi including names, in which Demi responded, You won't need names because you'll know exactly who they are. Whew. Yeah, this the tea is, is hot. This is hot tea. I can't wait for new Demi music. I'm glad yes. that she's responding to people. And um, yeah, I just can't wait. Yeah, same. Can't wait. Uh, we're just going to have to wait for the album, yeah. I guess, to see to see how this unfolds. All right, Susan, we have to celebrate milestones. Yes. And you know, there's different milestones in life. Graduations, a new job, getting married, but also there's special birthdays. Mm -hmm. And 35 is a big birthday. And Khloe Kardashian, happy birthday to happy you. Birthday. You were celebrating that today. Um, and other people were celebrating with her. Yes. Or giving her shout outs on social media, like friends family, fans, and even her ex slash baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. So Tristan posted this photo to his IG and captioned it saying, happy birthday, Chloe. You are the most beautiful human I have ever met inside and out. Thank you for being an amazing mommy to our princess, True. She is blessed to have someone like you to look up to. I wish you nothing but more success and sending you positive blessings your way. Enjoy your day, Coco. Okay, so not that it matters what people think, but let's go ahead and see what the comment section has to say about this. <laughs> so comments on his posts are limited to just his friends, but the Shade Room posted this post, so let's see what people are saying there. So one person said, y'all so negative. He's just wishing his child's mother a happy birthday. Yes, he's probably gonna mess with one of her friends at her birthday party, but still, y'all need to chill. Another said, okay, Chloe, give that man his phone back. And another said, <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, no. Another said, damn, she's gonna see this and think he loves her. Take this down, she's doing good. So clearly people are having fun in the comment section, but all jokes aside, hopefully this is actually a genuine 
just happy birthday posts and no drama happens because of it. But that's not all the Chloe news. She revealed to ET that she is not watching these dramatic episodes. She said to ET, quote, I personally don't watch it back because I already know what happens and it's just a little too toxic for me to keep reliving stuff like that. So I stay off social media. I didn't watch it and it's just a part of our job that we kind of have to do so we can't just pick and choose what we want to show. That's not fair and so it's just what it is. I mean, I wouldn't watch it back either if I was her. She knows what happened. Exactly, and she's reliving it all over again and she's seeing it all over social media. People are talking about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like she said, she knows what happens. I mean, I think it's great he's given her a shout out on yeah. her birthday. I think it's sweet. He's I still her, uh, her true daddy. father. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, so I hope she has a great day. Yeah, smile. Smile. All right, so we've got some more Chloe, Tristan, Jordan news. The story continues. Mm -hmm. If you're caught up on all of this week's news on Clever, you'd know we've been reporting on sort of all the things that have come out from Sunday's episode, what? which is like part one of the two part finale. Mm -hmm. um, so basically to give you a, a, a recap of that, there were a lot of things that came out of that episode. Um, some of the main things were that Chloe said that Jordan never actually said sorry to her. Um, she also said that according to Chloe, that they did make out and mm -hmm. she had confirmation that Jordan and Tristan made out. There was also a whole bunch of other things that Lots came of out tea. of the episode. Lots of tea. But you guys, Jordan has now responded to some of the things that came out of that episode. So as we just said, a lot of things were revealed by the Car Jenners in Sunday's episode. And we'll come back to Jordan's response on whether or not she said sorry. But something else that got a lot of people buzzing is when Kim said, quote, Kylie, she provides for her whole family off of what you have given her. Okay, so a lot of fans pointed out that they didn't agree with this, like one user who tweeted, Let's get something straight. Jordan was is basically Will Smith's godchild. She was not rescued by the Kardashians. They didn't find her in an African orphanage and bring her to America. For her to have been at school with Kylie, she was already rich. And you know who else doesn't agree with Kim? Jordan. She responded to Kim's comment saying to Entertainment Tonight, I definitely work very hard for a lot of the things that I have. And as you can see, I am out here hustling and I've always been working. I started modeling when I was 18 and you know, I work hard. So yeah, Jordan hasn't stopped working and hustling since all this drama first broke. But as for Chloe's comment, but Jordan, she never once said, I'm sorry. Jordan responded to Entertainment Tonight saying, quote, it's just, you know, things happen. And of course I'm sorry and apologetic as much as I can be. I mean, it's funny that they both have talked to ET recently. And mm -hmm. by recently, I mean like almost on the same day, or at least ET strategically released these clips on the same day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we were talking about this in the office this morning where at this point, they just need to sit down. We need like a face-to-face. -face. They yeah. can talk to each other. That will be prime time quality yeah. television. I just said, if Kris Jenner has it her way, my yeah. prediction is for the next season, she's gonna get Tristan, Chloe, and Jordan all in one room yeah. and basically uh, to talk it out because she'll be like, this will keep everybody watching for next season. Well, the funny thing is they keep, all sides keep saying like, speak your truth, speak your, your truth. Tr that that line, should be the show. The show should just be called My Truth. truth. And yes. then <laughs> literally, Literally, it's like sit-down interviews just with Tristan, Chloe, and Jordan. I'm ready. I know. I feel like that is the the tagline of the year so yeah. far. Speak your truth. Everybody needs to speak their truth. Oh, man. All right, guys. So, of course, we have an update with Shawn Mendes, Camila Cabello, Matthew Hussey, this triangle, not triangle, whatever is going on. Um, so, yesterday, if you didn't watch DHR, first of all, why didn't you? Second of all, we talked about how Camila, Camin, Camila, Camin, <laughs> Camila Cabello and uh, Matthew Hussey both responded in their own way to the breakup rumors that has now been confirmed. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we had something that happened after we filmed this episode. Yesterday afternoon, Camila actually got on her Insta story to address the fans, and she uh, really let us know how she feels. Mm -hmm. So on her Insta story, she said, quote, to my fans, if you really love me, please do not send people I love and care about hateful things. You doing that really hurts me, and it's so unnecessary and heavy and damaging to add more pain to pain. I would really appreciate it if you would delete any mean comments you sent and please be kind by leaving it alone. I just have to point out the fans were very disrespectful in the comments on Matthew Hussey's page yesterday. Susan and I were going through it and it was just awful, but hopefully they listened. Anyway, speaking of comments, fans think that Sean Mendez's mom confirmed that Sean and Camila are more than friends. So in the comments section of Camila Cabello's post of her and Sean's behind the scenes clip, Sean's quote unquote mom commented a heart emoji and a couple emoji. Now, 
To make matters even more interesting, when a fan commented, please tell them to date, the account replied back with a monkey covering its eyes emoji, <laughs> AKA they're already dating, further stirring the tea and the rumors and all the things. However, guys, it turns out this was actually a fake account and not actually Sean's mom. So all of you people shipping them will have to wait for some more legit evidence to pop up. When I first saw this yesterday on my screen, I know, we're like, oh! <laughs> and it was just like, oh. Yeah, I mean, listen, if if they are together, if they're gonna get together, whatever it is, we'll find out when they're ready for us to find out. I personally don't think that they're together. I think this is all just press for their song and their mm -hmm. collaboration, and I have no problems with that. Like, we can all fantasize yeah, and pretend I mean, that they're together. We can dream. Yeah, but I really don't think that they're together. But, However, if you wanna prove yeah, me wrong. But yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> but if you wanna prove us wrong, then um, we are so good for We're it. ready. All right, you guys, it's time for the final. Run down. 1.3 minutes on the clock, please, Emil. Starting now. Go. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, uh, wait, okay, first story. Spider-Man Far From Home premiere kicked off in LA last night and the entire gang was there looking amazing. Zendaya, oh, oh my God. God. Jaw drop moment. So beautiful, so incredible, beautiful. Incredible, incredible. Also, Charlie's Angels is back, you guys. Uh, Sony just dropped the trailer mm -hmm. for the reboot, the 2019 reboot, and I mean, we've got our first glimpse and so much more. But the trailer also includes a new single by Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande, and Lana Del Rey that we cannot wait for you guys. And Ari also posted to Instagram sharing that she co-executive produced the film's soundtrack and it has been, quote, the coolest thing in the world. Beyond grateful for this opportunity and can't wait for everyone to hear the music and see this phenomenal film. November. I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for the film either, but also speaking of what we can't wait for, Stranger Things is coming back soon and they actually, the cast, surprised some fans in a wax museum, Madame Tussauds, and they pretend to be wax figures and then they actually surprised. It was really cool. It happened on Jimmy Fallon. I love him. And also get ready because on July 10, Amazon Prime members will be able to stream the Prime Day concert headlined by Taylor Swift and will feature an all-female lineup, including Dua Lipa, SZA, and Becky G. Also, last night was the opening ceremony for World Pride in New York, and it looked amazing, but we have to give a shout out to two of my faves who shut it down. Sierra and Todrick Hall hit the stage and slayed. Oh, oh so obsessed, so, so obsessed. Oh, we actually completed it <laughs> in time today. That's a first. That's the final rundown, guys, and uh, yeah, that was fun. But if you're here at this point, um, we really appreciate you watching, and yes. I have a couple of questions for we you. Do. Um, so I want to know. Wait, what do I want to ask? Excuse me. <laughs> I said excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I guess I'll ask about you know what I've been asking about this Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. Do you think that they're actually an item, or do you think this is all just press? Let us know right down here in the comment section below. Ooh, Get yes, and also I want to know what your thoughts are on Demi Lovato. Mm -hmm. um, Liking these shady posts, what do you think is coming in her music? What do you think she might be alluding to Ooh. in the Instagram post? I mean, I can't wait. I think this is like, she is back. And I, now that she's like signed to Scooter Braun, I just cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in her career yeah. and her music. So, it's um, going to be spectacular. But amazing. guys, we have to go. We have more work to do, but thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. We're here every day, cause it's the Daily Hollywood Rundown and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. You guys, so so many stories today touched on stories from earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is click right here to catch up so you're fully up to date with everything. Yeah, and if you've made it to this point in the video, I mean, you might as well subscribe cause that means you kinda like us. So just click that button right there, subscribe. Subscribe. You do it? Yeah. <laughs>